So when I thought I was done hatching, I decided to bring in these last Cayuga eggs that haven't hatched yet that were down in the quack shack because What's going on guys? It's Zach here from Hagas BN and uh or Hagas Butt Nuggets and I'm out here in the garden starting to rake it out. I'm pushing all the access here and then I'll go through it. Or you see the chickens trying to scrape through. So I'll probably have here and there stones that I'll have to go back and pick up. Like I think I see one right here. Which I know I missed some, but it's no big deal. I'll just get them when I start planting, which probably is too a little too late, but It'll be all right. It'll just, uh, stuff will produce later. But anyways, I'm out here in the garden. I'm gonna take a little break because I'm a little wore out. All the animals are out. One of the ducks, one of the duck, baby ducks or little ducks are in the pool. Um, and I also, zoom back out here. I also, uh, since it stopped raining, I brought out the ducklings from the basement. So they're out. I did up this fencing right beside the little, um, uh, where I have the baby chickens and turkeys, which all of them are out now. They have a little hut they can go into and a pool. And then I uh, will get them feed here in a little bit. But there's the baby ducklings. I'm having a poll on my personal Facebook page, or not personal, my uh, Hagas BN uh, Butt Nugget page on Facebook on what I should name that one right there. The tall Cayuga Poofy, and there's the smaller one. And these two are up for grabs. If um, anybody is, would be interested, they can get a hold of me and we can figure something out bunch of ISC browns getting some water and more just I'm going to be making a roost bar in there for them they can jump up on and hang out on um, there's one I just seen up on the door here I know it's gonna be hard to see but one hanging up on the door There's a turkey, there's a turkey. They're starting to grow themselves out. I have no idea if they're male or female yet. I haven't really looked into them that much, but I think I got one of each. Yeah, I am gonna say probably one of each. Cause it looks like that one's starting to get a little like spot, like a male would get. It's hard to tell because it won't zoom. But uh, it, right up on his nose, it has a little bump. Where this one, I don't really see one. So I think I might have one of each male, female combo. And if I do, that's fine. Maybe they can breed. It's no big deal. <laughs> but uh, I think Lindsay just came out. But anyways. Baby ducks are out. I'll get them food in a little bit. But, uh, so I found out one of the Cayuga ducklings down there did hatch out, but I think um, it might have got stepped on. And I found it the, night, the morning. So I don't, I don't, so it's, um, it, it uh, unfortunately died. But there is a bunch more eggs down there for it to be hatched out. And uh, there's chickens up here because there's bird feed that they pecked in. I need to put this in the... Over here in the hut. Thank <laughs> you. 
We must have dropped some. He's not, well, he hasn't been mean to me, but he attacked my son the other day. But he knows better with me to try to attack me. But I just wanted to do a little update here. The chicks are, the baby chicks are still down in the basement, but they're doing well. Uh, I did lose one. But uh, all the other ones, we got seven left. Um, I'll probably wind up with them too, but I, there is also a uh, swap coming up at a local feed mill from me. So I'll probably take them over there along with the ducklings. See if we can, uh, see if anybody wants to buy or swap anything for them. It's worth a shot. But this is what I got raked out so far. That's what I have left. Um, there's not a really good place for me to place y'all. So I'm just gonna finish this, raking this out and i'll probably call that a day um we got to pick up kenley here in a little bit so we're um probably going to do that but oh and also i uh my tomato or my potatoes i found this here which and this is grass which is no i mean i threw grass in here so um, I'll just throw that down there. But I'm finding some sproutlings of potatoes. Th these are the um, red potomacs that are starting to sprout out. And sorry guys, I found some more stones. I'm just throwing it right in dry creek. It's no big deal. The, uh, white the white ones aren't doing as well um there is some sprout somewhere i've seen it earlier but they're not as doing as well for some reason i'll take some coverage off maybe that will help it i don't know like there's a sprout there but I just haven't seen much. Oh, there's one. See, they're just not really going anywhere. See, there's one. Which I'm hoping they do, but if they don't, that's no big deal. It's just, uh, Something I wanted to try. Hold on, let me uh, wipe off my, or change hand right there. Anyways, something I just wanted to try. It's no big deal if they don't uh, produce anything. Um, it's just one of those things. It's worth a experiment to do and try new things, see what works and what don't for me. Um, and along with this ground, I'm gonna, well, with the compost and everything, it's gonna ha help. But with the rock and stuff, I'm gonna see what uh, takes and what don't. And this is only my second year of trying. So last year we got a little bit, but it wasn't much. Plus I I did it late, so it didn't help that much either. But potato or tomatoes uh, uh, produced. There's uh, some cucumber and uh, some other little stuff. But um, we didn't get too much last year. But um, uh, other than that, uh, nothing really going on. She's in there playing with her cricket, um, trying to fit, learn that. And uh, yeah, and you can hear those guineas in the background. And Aaliyah up there. But uh, yeah, so guys, uh, I'm going to finish directing this out and we'll see what else we get into. And now it's finally raked out. Now it's time to clean up this piles right here. All that right there. Spread out. Well, I'll probably actually not even spread it back, spread out the, I'll probably just scoop it all up. Take it on the other side of the camper there, trying to level off. Right there where the 
rock, or all that is right there. I want to level this about all out and get it all flat. So I'll probably I'll dump it right in that area. Maybe take some up top there along the driveway, smooth it out. But uh, now it's just to uh, put some plants down, clean that up, and the garden will be good for this year. It's very wet and muddy, so it made it heavy. But I think hopefully it'll do good this year. Plant, put some compost down, and uh, I think it'll be good to go. I also need to make up signs to what I'm putting where, because I'll probably end up forgetting. So that's another thing I need to do. But uh, looks like that hen is enjoying it, looking for bugs. So, oh yeah, there's a pulling tractor. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go inside, get a drink. See what uh, he said. The kids are up or not, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what we get into. Oh, and the other day we picked up this raspberry bush, so that is going to need planted sometime here soon too. That didn't take out, and there's only a corn. I think I'm pretty sure it's corn that uh took out in here so but it is what it is it was worth a shot i'll do uh something better next year for stingling so you yeah, guys so when i thought i was done hatching i decided to bring in these cayuga eggs from the quack shack because I now saw my second dead Cayuga duckling down in the quack shack. I don't know why, but so that these could hatch and live. I decided to bring these in and I don't know what day they're on, but hopefully soon we'll have some Cayuga uh, ducks. They might be mixed with a um, crested pecan because I also had poofy in them with them. But I'm hoping that these hatch out and can live a good life. And with those two ducklings I found, sorry guys if it's dark, I'm getting out of the bathroom. But with those two ducklings I found, I felt better with bringing them in and trying to hatch them out that way. I did not, um, it, or I should have probably um, seen how their growth was. I didn't do it with any of them. I might do that right be before I go off to bed. I just put them in there so it won't be bad. But with those two I found, I think it would be best to try to do this way and try to give them a nice life to live. So let's see how this goes. Well guys, it is Sunday. Um, it's gonna be a easy day. Just went and did a little running and stopped by, if you know, uh, or close to me, Farner's Race Shop. They're having a sale today, um, toy collectible sale type thing. Uh, we stopped there. My brother and my dad were setting up there, so I uh, decided to stop in and see them. And um, now we're home. I'm going to do some weed whacking and maybe some odd and end stuff. And that's about it for the day. Um, kids are taking a nap. And it's Sunday. I don't want to do too much. So... Um, I was just outside here, decided to bring out some cans um, that we had inside to put recycling and uh, messed around getting some of the stones out of the garden. But I need to get this weed whacking done, so I'm going to do that, and that's about it for the day. Um, the eggs I, um, I brought in last night, 
I candled them and I, they should all be hatching here in probably the next week, I would say. Um, they all looked good this morning. No pips yet, but uh, we'll keep tuning that. And I believe that's it. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't, go, please go like and subscribe to the channel. Like this video and um, comment any anything you'd like to see, anything uh, new. If you want to see uh, an animal more, um, just anything. But once again, you guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.